Every morning in the kitchen you could see him scurry With those six fat legs he could move in a hurry Living on garbage, hiding in the wall Breathing sprays and poisons and surviving it all Let me tell you about a roach Big cockroach With a female roach, his only thoughts to seduce her He's an insect Casanova, a prolific producer. He's got a shiny back that's harder than granite. <laughs> He's just about indestructible, damn it. He's a roach. Big cockroach. He was standing at the corner of under and sink. All mean and unshaven, he was looking for a drink. He had a dent in his neck from a month ago. When the maid caught him napping and stomped him on the floor. Once I threw a party, he showed up real drunk. Leaned across my wet bar and called me a punk. Well, I took his remark rather tongue in cheek. But just to be safe, I made his next drink weak. He was mean. Big cockroach. After everybody left, we sat down on the rug. We were talking it out, kind of, kind of man to bug. He said, "This country was built on persistence, like mine. I'll survive. Just relax. Everything will be fine." Big roach. Big cockroach. Now we get along fine, at least so far. In fact, my only complaint is that he borrows my car. You can't fight evolution, not and win, he swears. Seems my only solution was to get him downstairs. Well, I didn't want him in my room. Listen, I've slept in a room with roaches before, but I've never had one hop in bed and throw one leg over me. When they start to cuddle, that's where I draw the line. Well, it's been a while since that went down. He moved out. People said he left town. Then, via the vine, I heard he moved to Manila. They say to marry a chick by the name of Bugzilla. Big Roach. Big Cockroach. A year went by, and I got a visit from his son. He was bigger than a Buick. He weighed over a ton. So, now I live downstairs. Well, what could I do? My only other choice was to have him move in with you. 